It is the coolest thing ever. Dragon Tiger, baby. Do not mess with me. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing here on the Alpha Tribe server with Archaic Ascension and Pyria Dinos. So excited doing flips. Man, oh man, guys, thank you for coming, hanging out, joining me on the adventures. As you always do, please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness man oh man speaking of awesome last episode we tamed up this most amazing and awesome corrupted raptor that's right it's super cool it is part of archaic ascension and actually can be evolved into a beta and then an alpha variant of the creature it's super cool i found out though that you actually have to feed this guy element shards i thought it was the uh, corrupted nodules but nope it's actually element shards now in the i and i files you can actually change how often it eats and we made it like so that it does not eat very often so we can actually use it because it kind of stinks on this particular map that we're playing um element shards is not something that you commonly come across there's no extinction events with element ore veins so it would kind of make it unusable at least at this point in the game and i'm sure this guy is only good you know early game more or less but anyway it's pretty cool now we should be able to leave him out and not have worry even without any element shards in him i think it has like a month before it eats so it still does eat normal food which is pretty cool but um, these guys, they're designed for PvP. And I guess they can like destroy like tech buildings or something crazy. So that's why they're so expensive. But we're not gonna be using it for that. We're gonna be using it for PvE. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyway, leaving them out. Today, I think I wanna go after a Pyrea Dino. Um, it's been a little while. By the way, look at that. I thought I needed 400 kills. Froggy Man must have adjusted the INI files yet again. I don't know, that kill count keeps changing every single time. But I wanna get more levels in this Pteranodon before we make it an alpha. But anyway, as I was saying, last episode we got an Archaic Ascension creature. I think today we should probably go after a Pyrea creature. I think that would be pretty cool. Whoa, there's a Chimera. Look at that. Oh, what level is it? Level 170 Chimera, exceptional kibble. That's pretty cool. I think we're gonna hold off on that guy. Let's see. There's so many cool creatures. Uh, Cockatrice, awesome. Look at this guy. They're so goofy looking. Where'd he go? Look at him running away. And then what are these things? Ostrich. Oh man, there's so much awesomeness. Um, what I was actually thinking I might like to get today is a Dryger. We saw one, I think, yesterday in the episode, just running around. So I know they're around here. Those are like the dragon-tiger hybrids. They're super fast. I think it should be pretty neat. So anyway, I'm going to go out on the hunt. See, Whoa, 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 whoa. See if we can find one. Dude, look at this. Oh, man. This guy's kind of like a... Uh, it's pretty high tier. It's almost like a boss guy in the mod. Almost. Not quite a real boss guy, but... Oh, that's so awesome. And then these guys, too. Look at these. Dralians. Oh, man. There's so much awesomeness. So much awesomeness. What else we got? Oh, Goliath. I love this mod. There's just so much eye candy. So much to look for. Holy crap. That's not a Diorex, is that? Oh, it is a Diorex. That's a boss. Diorexes, at least, that spawn in the wild. That's like an electric creature. Um, if they spawn in the wilds, they are not tameable. But you can get one. You can get one, but you got to do it through uh, laying eggs. You get like a mutated egg. Anyway, we'll get to that eventually in the season. There's just so very much. I'm going to go on the hunt, find myself a Draugr, and let's go tame it. All right, guys. Feast your eyes on that. Isn't that the coolest thing you ever seen? Oh, it's a female Draugr. Very cool. Max level 300. And it takes regular kibble and then mutton and then prime meat. We could definitely do this. Um, Let's see. Regular kibble. So it takes three of them. 
Let's just see. I don't have any on me. Do I have metal on me? Crap, I don't have any metal on me. All right, is there any metal nodes around here so that we can quickly, yep, yep, right there. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's go ahead, pick up our Pteranodon. Come here, Twister. Come here, bro. Let's quickly harvest some metal. All right, way more than enough. Let's, oh crap, what was the kibble again? Kibble, it was the blue kibble. Why is there two different ones in here? I don't even know, bro, I don't even know. All right, let's craft up a bunch of this. And just since we have it on us, we might as well craft some of this kibble. All right, oh, it better not have been that. It better not have been that. Now that I think about it, there's two different blue ones. Let's get out our bow. Let's just look at it again. It's kind of sketchy around here. Ooh, look at that thing. I wonder what this does. What are you? Oh, Forest Titan, sweet. All right, what was that guy again? Okay, it was regular kibble. All right, let's see if we can get him. Come here, bro. All right, he still has not noticed us yet. Come on. I can do this all day, bro. That is knockout, yeah? Ooh, 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 holy crap, holy crap, yo. All right, we got him, we got him. Oh my goodness, all right. Bada boom, take two back out. It said just three, right? Yep, just three. We got it, guys, we got it. All right, um, let me see if I have the thing to speed it up. I don't know if we'll need it. Uh, sleeping Dino, Refill Torpidity, Starve Dino, Perfect for Taming, awesome. Nice, we got ourselves a Drygar. Is it Drigger or Drygar? I don't know, either way, it is awesome. It is so very awesome, look at this guy. Holy cow, it looks even cooler than the last time I seen it. Yes. Wow, look at him. This is the coolest thing I ever done seen. Oh, it is so epic. And I love about these guys. Look at that. You don't ride it directly in their back because of the spikes. You got to ride it to the side of the spikes. It is so cool. Now, this guy is insanely fast. Really good for getting around on the map. All right, let's just see if there's something small. Now, I think there's a saddle slot, but I don't know if we're going to be able to craft it yet. Let's see, it would probably be called armor. Let's just see, armor, boss armor. No, that's from PyCon's mod. Saddle, is there a specific trigger saddle? You know, we have not, I have not unlocked all the different saddles yet for everything. Let's see, just the ones that are unlocked still. All right, so these are all the Pyrea ones. Oh, there we go. Is it? No, that's a Tigger, not a Drigger. Snow Owl. I think there's one generic saddle, but you know what? I'm probably going to have to read about this guy. This would be my best guess. I probably, let's go back to our spawn base. Let me go uh, read through the uh, bestiary, and it should tell us what type of saddle this guy uses. Oh, I love him. All right, guys, back at the base. Let me read through the bestiary really quickly. I always had fun doing this. So it says, Drigger or Drigger. I'm not sure which way you pronounce it yet. Its habitat is in the jungles, redwoods, and badlands. Um, it's in the group called Wildlife. And the Drigger are another species of mammal-like dragon and vaguely resemble a large-scaled feline. Highly athletic, they are solid middle tier carnivores in any ecosystem um, that value speed and maiming over raw um, power. Their main rival being the Orthos or Dralion, they are another example of an excellent mount for middle of the road survivors who ride by hanging on to the side of them due to their fearsome spikes. So they have the spikes on their body that deal 10% of damage back to any physical attacker. So if anyone that bites it, it does 10% back to that player. So that's pretty cool, or wild creature, I should say. 
Um, the left click does a bite, which drains the stamina of the target, and the right click does a claw swipe, which shreds armor, and then the C is a roar, space bar is jump. So that's pretty cool. Um, very neat creature, and I think it's perfect for us at this stage of the game. Um, next up, there's a whole bunch of Ingrams that I've not unlocked yet, and I think I remember from last time we played. So there's all sorts of different runes, and these are used for different mounts. Different mounts take different stuff, so, and it's kind of like a universal saddle, which I find cool. So we have Kingship Rune, uh, King, Kinship Rune, um, Alchemy Station. I think that's what his whole shenanigans, his table's called. Um, and then let's just sort of unlock all this stuff because this is all the stuff that we need to craft in um, his tables. So very cool. And a lot of this, you can actually summon stuff. Oh man, it's so cool. I cannot wait. Taming the elixir. So he has in his mod too, all sorts of taming elixirs and different stuff like that. So us using our mod with our kibble table kind of takes away from the, uh, the stages of the game and the hardships. So it's something you may, if you don't want to have easy mode on, you may not want to play with our kibble table. But just putting that out there. But yes, look at all this stuff. Let's get it all unlocked. I kind of saved it. I unlocked every other Ingram. But I've been kind of saving this to do this with you guys. So that's cool. That looks like it's all of his Ingrams for the mod. Cool. And then the only other thing I didn't unlock yet is in PyCon's mod, which is the Archaic Ascension. This is used to tame Broodmother, Dodo Rex, and all that sort of stuff. So we'll leave that stuff unlocked for now. So, or still locked up for now, because we're not at that stage in the game. So that's cool. Let's see, to make the alchemy bench, what does this cost? 20 black pearls, crap. I might have that, and it doesn't look like I do. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Let's see, how many black pearls do I have? I have two, and I think that's from yesterday. I think when we were killing um, maybe the tech guy, um, we should be able to get them from Trillabytes, though, I do believe, if we can find Trillabytes on the map. Um, let me just see if you even need to craft that table, the rune in there. All right, it looks like we can craft this rune here. Maybe I have, oh, we need silica pearls. Are you serious? I used up all my silica pearls, all but five. All right, that is okay. Let's go venture out, and I need to set up a teleporter there anyway, where we got silica pearls yesterday. Cause that was a sweet spot. It was a little dangerous, but it was a pretty sweet spot. But I think we should get that for the rune. Cause this guy, hopefully that's the right uh, thing for this guy as a saddle. But I think it would be pretty smart. I don't want to lose this guy yet because in the beast diary, it said it's a middle of the line creature. However, it's not a strong attacker. That's not like it's forte. So, that's good to know, and you know what, we might be able to score, oh, there's a lot of beavers here, we might be able to score stuff right here, alright, 25, that's enough to at least craft it, oh crap, is there beavers following me, oh man, they're coming out the woodworks, let's keep going, go, 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 alright, hopefully they'll lose aggro soon, um, it was somewhere around here where we saw the pearls though, the natural ones, uh, let me see if I can find it. I think, like, we, I kind of went there on accident with Froggy Man yesterday. Like, he was, he was, uh, I was following him, and then all of a sudden I lost him, and I looked down, and there were silica pearls in the water. So I was like, you know what? That's good enough for me. All right, let me, let me find where they are, and I'll set up a teleporter. All right, found it, found it, found it. This is perfect. It's just, um, let me show you. Those are the uh, the floaty islands right there. This is that long ridge looking thing. Our bases are just like right down that way. And then it's on the border between the redwoods and this biome. And you can see that you can see them all pretty well. So this is, I don't want to say it's not a sketchy area because it is kind of sketchy, but it's not horrid. I think I can put a teleporter here and not really have to worry about about stuff. It would be nicer if I can set the teleporter up here. This would actually be most ideal. Let me see if I can do that. Ooh, yes, right there, perfect. 
All right, so now if we want to teleport in, it should be safe. So let's rename this real quick and we'll call it pearls. Perfect, so we have an oil and we have a pearls one. And now, as long as we're careful, because there's no piranhas that I've noticed in this water, um, there is sketchiness on the shore, more mostly like orthos and what are these guys called? What the crap are those things called? Those guys are kind of nasty. They're really slow though. The Terrascues. Yeah, remember those? Oh man, but anyway, pearls for days now, pearls for days. Let's grab them all, as many as we can. But yeah, this is a really good pearl deposit on this map. I'm sure there's other places that are just as good, if not better. But being that there's no piranhas in here, that might be due to the fact that every single creature you see is from, it, they're not vanilla creatures, they're from AA. Cause that's, it's kind of like a core mod. It blocks the vanilla creatures, pretty positive anyway. All right, let's get some air, get some air. All right, and we should have a few more pearls over this way. How's our oxygen doing? All right, we're good. All right, here we go. We're right above the next pearl deposit. Sweet. All right, so we should be able to make the rune a top level and upgrade it too. So this should be pretty dang awesome. Oh man, I love it. Silica pearls are always a pain in the butt. I don't think there's anything in Shadlos's mod in Pyrea or Archaic Ascension that gets pearls easy. I think you just have to harvest them on your own. Which is fine, it's not like it's a hard thing to harvest, but it can just be kind of tedious at times. All right, last few pearls, sweet, 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 sweet. All right, let's hope there's no baddies right here. All right, we look pretty good. I noticed there's a lot of spots in this map where it's hard to run out of the water. Even at my base, that little puddle at my spawn base, I can get stuck in it sometimes. I can't like just walk out at any angle. All right, perfect. So we got all of our pearls. Let's go ahead, throw those pearls into there. And this stuff we want to throw in here. Bada boom, bada boom. And I'll throw the wood in here. Bada boom. All right, perfect. So let's go. Whoa! What the crap? Look at this guy. Just landed right there. It's okay, though. He's passive. All right. So where was I? Rune. So do you think it would be a dragon rune or... Let's see, what is that? I, we can't even craft dragon rune, so it better be this rune. This is all I have to say. I, we might have to go uh, looking for more metal, though. Might have to do that. Might have to be a thing. Let's see, because I've smelt it up. All right, perfect. That is the rune that we want. Let's grab these pearls back out. Oh, perfect, and we got metal right there. I forgot what the third material was. Hopefully... It is something we have in here already. Upgrade. Oh, beautiful. Yes. All right, uh, failed, lost. All right, perfect, and bada boom. All right, so we got an ascendant rune now, which is cool. We can, um, I don't wanna waste it now, but if we get some polymer, we can use the augments on it soon, but I think this will be good enough for now. So roughly a level 200 that we got on that guy. That is pretty sweet. 200 armor. Let's grab some meat out for him. Beautiful. Awesome. And let's also throw on one of these. Um, pick up matrix. And the level up counter. Awesome. We are golden, guys. Absolutely golden. Let's pick up our trigger for now. And let's head on out over here. And let's start to try and level this guy up a bit. I think this should be pretty epic. Definitely pretty epic. All right, so got the rune. All right, as you can see, it is not the strongest attacker in the world. Ooh, it looks like that's 305, that's 377. And the left click that I'm doing now, the stronger attack, that's the one that I believe is draining stamina. And then the right click again is better for armored creatures, which armor might be for like PVP stuff, like player armor possibly. Do not know, do not know. All right, so we got a feel for all those moves. And then these guys actually, they take the damage, remember themselves, if they hit me. 
So we're rocking 12,000 health. That's really, really good for starting off. Let's do that melee up. The weight on this guy is decent. It doesn't... I don't know. It's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. And not a huge level up on him. Not a huge level up. So, and again, this guy, he's, he's, he's a, you know, it's not that strongest creature in the world, but I should be able to outrun just about anything and get the crap away. But this is so cool. I love this guy. Get wrecked, bro. Yeah, get smacked. Awesome. All right, I'm not comfortable with these trikes. I think I want to run away. I don't want to get hit with the bleed damage. Plead damage is pretty nasty from the trikes these days. It lasts for so long. In fact, I wonder, let me actually, you know what? I don't care, let's get this guy. I wanna see if maybe this guy doesn't take bleed damage. I don't know. Come on, bro, get wrecked. Yeah! All right, let's go ahead, boost him up again. Sweet, already level 41. Oh, I should be using this in him. Yes, that's what I need. So I get four times quadruple the XP, hitting for a thousand now. Oh man, this is so amazing. So very amazing. Wowzers. Now, of course, there's no evolutions for any of the Pyrea stuff, or at least this Pyrea guy. I'm not sure if any Pyrea stuff has an ev evolution. But yeah, and look at that. We are taking kind of bleed damage. It's not, I don't think it's the same. I can't recall. It certainly doesn't last that long though, so I'm not too worried about it. I love this guy. Trigger is the coolest thing ever. I mean, a dragon tiger. Seriously, it doesn't get much cooler than a dragon tiger hybrid. Man, I love him. I love him, love him, love him. Let's go over here in the sun, take a good look at him. Oh, it's so awesome. I love how he like squiggle wiggles. Look at him. It is the coolest thing ever. Dragon tiger, baby. Do not mess with me. Oh, I God, love him. Love him to death. All right, guys, this guy is leveling up so, so quickly, almost at 2000 now. Oh my goodness, and those levels just keep pouring in with this health, with this uh, XP potion. It is so beautiful. Come here, guys. Get annihilated. Oh man, I wonder if you can breed these. I mean, we do have a female, so I would assume you could. Um, This guy is on aggressive. Let me turn that off. And he's also following me. Holy cow. But I mean, as far as vanilla stuff, we pretty much dominate them now. It is so crazy fun. Oh, I highly recommend this creature. How does he swim? Oh, look at he just kind of runs in the water. That's funny. It would have been cool if he did like a serpentine, serpentine thing, you know, back and forth. But everything from Pyrea, you got to understand, most of these models, if not all the models, are pretty much just models that you can purchase, um, to my knowledge, you know, and or from other games. So you're kind of at the mercy of just, you know, what the modeler had done for it. I'm sure some of them have actually been either customized or completely done by Shadlows, but not all of them. Not all of them, that's for sure. Oh, look at there's Froggy Man. What the crap is he fighting? That thing is crazy looking. What is that? Hey, you Mac. What's up, Froggy Man? What the crap is that? Been attacked by some crazy beast bird. You want some help? Alright, let me let's help him. Yeah, get that thing, man. It won't leave me alone. <laughs> this thing is awesome looking. It is so oh, cool looking. Getting hurt. Oh yeah! Yeah! Get wrecked! Alright, didn't look like it dropped anything crazy. Let's go meet up with Froggy Man. It looks like he got a B today. That is so awesome. Alright, let me just get this area cleaned cleared up for him. For for him, for us. All right, and let's go beat up with Froggy Man. Froggy Man, how are you doing? Amazing, man, you saved my bee. Oh, dude, your bee is awesome looking. It is ginormous. 
Right? It's so fun to fly around on too, man. Oh, it is so cool. And you said it makes honey? Yeah, and silk. No kidding. Wow. Yeah, and it like berries and... Dude, this thing yeah. is awesome. Can I mount it? Yeah, yeah, play with it, man. Go fly around. Dude, this thing is so awesome. Yeah. Ooh, it's pretty quick. Yeah, you can't adjust it, so that's just a set speed, but that's not bad. No, that it, have you leveled up the speed at all? No, you can't. Oh, you can Oh, but well, it's pretty good. I mean, I don't know if this I'd want this as my only mount, but this is faster than a vanilla pteranodon. It is, which is surprised me by the way. Yeah. Dude, it is so cool looking. It's so huge. It's a trigger. Yep, remember these guys? Do remember. Oh man, there you are. I love the faces on them. I know. They're so cool. Here, watch. Watch me roar. Hear me roar. Yeah, oh, that's cool looking. Oh man, I got a lady trigger. You should see if you can find one so we can be mate boosted. Right? We could yeah, have a litter, I... a litter, a trigger. Trigger litter. Yeah. It's so You're much fun crazy. though. It is. It is just crazy fast. Yeah, I couldn't even keep up on this little old bee, man. Oh, I don't think much can keep up. It is. He, he's just a speed demon. He's like a cheetah. Oh, he is. Oh, man, you keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep giving me free levels. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you just come hang along? We'll go wreck some face. Ooh, and I'm up to 2,000 now. That took a while. Nice. Oh, there you go. Here, look at Oh, look, some dropped an egg. Ooh, that looks like a Bronto egg. I'm not going to touch it, man. I am not going to touch it. I don't yeah, want no Bronto coming strong, after me. But it's got a weird stinging attack. See, bam. Oh, I bet that does torpor. You know, I tried. It's really hard to aim at. Look, I'm going to try over here. Let's see. Dude, Let's there's see a little like bunny rabbit. It gave me mana. Oh, I did do. It does do. It yeah. knocked it right out. Yeah, it does a lot of torpor, I remember. Look at that. It knocked it out one shot. Oh, that is so cool. Whoa. Well, this is a taming machine. Yeah, dude. It's going to be perfect. Right? I didn't even know. I thought it, like... Just aggravated things. No, no, <laughs> no, it is it is a pretty baller mount. Uh oh, I don't like these things, these harpies. No man, you know what? They freak me out because they got people faces. I know they're so freaky. They're like <laughs> nightmare birds. It's so funny though. This guy when he when he goes in the water, he still runs. Does he? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna take the bee in the water. Most likely, I'll just get dismounted. Yeah, you'll just dismount probably. Bees, bees don't swim. Oh, man, Froggy. Ooh, there's something. Look, there's something for you to get right here. There's a hobgoblin. Ooh, a hobgoblin? Yeah, yeah, come to me. All right, come to are me. you on the other side of the river? Uh, no, no, I'm right where you are. Oh, I crossed crap. over the river with you. Crap. Oh, you All right, back? I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I see you. Yeah, yeah, right here. Right. A hobgoblin. hobgoblin. Right here. Yeah, man, I bet you there's good XP with that. I hope so. Oh, I wrecked his face, dude. Oh, I did get good XP. Nice. I don't know about you, but it worked out for me. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right, let's keep on going. Let's get some more stuff. There's there's some other guys here. Bantus. Remember Bantus? Ooh. I'll help you get them. Bam. It is all coming back to me now. Slowly but surely. Right? All right, there's a little oh, bag I here. I want to see if this is a Bantu bag. Yeah, it's got mana in it. Oh, nice. Dude, mana is epic because mana weighs nothing. Right? And it's used for all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Very important. Oh, and there's an ostrich. I like the ostrich. I want to tame one and run around. We can go ostrich racing. Oh, that would be epic, dude. Let's let's definitely do that. Right? Maybe tomorrow. Doesn't that sound fun? Like yeah. racing ostriches? Oh, of course, dude. It reminds me of, like, what was it in Final Fantasy? Oh, the, 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 Salamander. Oh, you're yeah, doing it, Froggy. Really... Yeah, I'm... Oh, no, you get back here. You can't run away from me. <laughs> Dude, he looked ferocious, though. Right? you lucky he didn't set you on fire. Oh, oh yeah, they do that. Oh, there's a bag there. Oh, oh, let's see what's in the bag. Go check out the bag, Froggy. Let's see. The bag has... Oh, oh mana. Nice. Dude, there's mana. more goblins, more bantus. Ooh, this Bantu is a 300. Ooh, that was a good one. Yup. 
Man, those are the screaming things, man. <laughs> All right, get more mana. I got to empty out my inventory because my guy is not picking up shenanigans what? now. Yeah, my B doesn't have great carry weight, but it's doing okay. Yeah, there they're not go. bad. All right, Ron, you got to be careful because there's the, the two different types of meat. There's the cadaver meat, and then there's the normal meat. Oh, and you really got to be careful standing out here because there's these little small, like, rock golems that will one-hit you. Really? Yeah, I tamed a lion, man, and it hit me over the head. It snuck up on me. Really? That is... Yeah. What, do you remember what they're called? Yeah, rock golems. They're just rock golems? Yeah. Is it from Pyrea? One. Yeah. Oh, I don't I don't know why I don't remember those. Maybe once I see them, I'll probably remember right away. Yeah, they're all over out here. Oh, there's some T-Rex. Do you man. think I could take them a T-Rex on? Oh, easily you could take a T-Rex oh, on. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, let me try. Come here, T-Rex. Oh, they're pretty ferocious. Here, I'll help you. Dude, I bet you could knock out a T-Rex. Oh, it dropped an egg. Oh, nice, dude. Dude, it said not tameable. It is. You got you to gotta hack the egg. Oh, I bet you it's like the... um. What? what oh, dude, you got to grab that egg. Is it good? Dude, that's a 280. You gotta oh! grab that egg. Nice, dude. I was gonna let you grab it. No, man, I got one already. Awesome. So what happens is, is they're fighting each other in other mounts, and then when they get almost dead, they drop an egg anyway. Yeah, like the Indoms. Oh, from, watch that's it, watch it, watch it. Holy crap, holy crap. Um, That's I'm just a roll. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Holy crap a moly. That I'll was scary. You. Thanks for saving me, Froggy! Wow, yeah, that was a roke. So these guys, so I'm guessing if it's the same way the Indom works, um, when they get down to 10% health, the female will lay an egg. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is so cool. And we got a 280! Right? Yep. Oh, Orthos, crap, this is one of my arch nemesis. Oh, it's in the beast theory, Orthos is, oh. is something that hunts Lions. me. Holy crap, holy crap. Gotta oh. be careful because these lions will grab you. Oh, off your mount? Yeah. All right, I'll be careful. They, they, they jump and grab you in their mouth. In the mouth? Yeah, man. Oh, so sleep. they're like oh, those, no. those sleepy monster dinos. Yeah. I got you. Uh-oh, the harpies oh, look, are after me. The harpies. Oh, it's called a rubble golem. A rubble golem, awesome. Yeah, it's chasing me right now. Run away. Jeez, I <laughs> went in that spot in the map where everything aggro's. Yeah, that's where I did that. You got a rubble golem. Oh, wow, look at, watch it. It's a it 300 like... iron ent. Oh. And that's not tameable. It's 62,000 health. I'm not gonna mess with that. Yeah, not you today. gotta get the babies. Yeah. You tame the little baby ones. I don't remember. I'm sure it will come back to me. Ooh, Allosaurs. Pack of Allosaurs. Ooh. Dude, I can wreck all them. Nice. Uh-oh, I got a micro. Oh, crap. Dude, I might need help. I got a micro raptor right. on me. I'm coming, I'm coming. Where are you, where are you? Oh, I see you, I'm on the way. Do, do, do. I'm almost out of it. He's got me in that, like, Perlovia oh, I, I hate stage. it when they do that, man. Bam! Nice! Get wrecked, Froggy Man wrecks your Ooh. face. Right? Man, I'm telling you, these mods are pretty well balanced. Yeah, I think so. I definitely think so. So we still haven't seen the alpha ones yet. Those guys are kind of next level, but... You know, there's guys in, in Pyrea that are, you know, unkillable pretty much. Yeah, so the bosses, he did a, a buff on those. Mm -hmm. So they will do 100% damage now while you're on your map. Uh. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. Upgrade station does not matter to the bosses. I got you. All right, we got some more ostrich here. None of them are of taming quality level, but no, they're definitely abundant. But hey, they they're a great snack. Oh, I don't know if I want to go in the desert though, man. That's where stuff starts getting real yeah. scary. Yeah, you know what? I think I did good enough for today, Froggy Man. I think I'm gonna head home. Yeah, man. So anyway, I will definitely see you tomorrow, and let's think about possibly ostriches. I think that would be an oh. epic thing. That would be, man. I had a good time. All right, D-Mac, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, Froggy, see you tomorrow. 
All right, guys. Well, that was pretty epic hanging out with Froggy. I had a fun time. You know what? I took on a lot of stuff that I would have been afraid to take on if I was by myself. It's always so good to have a buddy bro to hang out with when you go around. But anyway, this thing is just amazing. I'm so happy we chose to tame it today. It is... Oh, crap. <laughs> Except when D-Max a dummy face. Um, Yeah, this thing is amazing. And it really is pretty well balanced. You know, we, we had to balance the two mods so they could work together. But I have a feeling this guy's going to be about the same as what our Pteranodon ends up being. So, yeah, that's cool. And, I mean, nothing has posed a huge problem. Of course, nothing that we took on was a boss. But, you know, I wouldn't want to take on a boss. Anyway, let's get back to the base, guys. And let's go through the comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments. And, yes, it is that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos! For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance at getting your name chosen, you gotta be a subscriber, so smash that subscribe button and you gotta comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have the Corrupted Raptor. There's a lot of really cool names. There's a lot of them that were like Air Message and, uh, you know, funny things like that. But I thought this one was really cool. I'm not sure if it's a reference to something or a totally made up name. I didn't Google it or anything. So hopefully it's something cool if it is named after something else. But it's a Corrupted Raptor. But I like this. Cry uh, Cryptar. Is that Cry? Cryptar, Cryptar, you know, like a corrupted raptor. I thought it was super cool. Super epic and dainty. Do you like your name, Cryptar? He's like, I love it. I love my name. That is me. That is me. Awesome. Awesome. Also, people said if you press C on these guys, it does some type of pack bonus, but I would assume, I would assume that I need to have more of them around for that to happen. So I don't know. Maybe we can check out more, but anyway. For next episode, we have the Drigger or Drigger. Guys, how do I say it? Which which way is it pronounced? Drigger or Drigger? I don't know. I'm sure both work just fine, but it is such an awesome beast. I totally love it. Oh, man, I love this mod. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace.